Midtown Rail Yard says they hope to reopen tomorrow. That's if they can get the mud and debris out of their courtyard in time to open. And as our Katrin ASAP found out, this isn't the first time this has happened. She joins us live at the restaurant. Katrin. Kevin, Donna, that's right. You can see on this gate next to me just how high the water and debris got. Now, the eatery tells me it was only about an hour between when the flooding started to when the waters began to recede. But in that time, the waters got so high, it actually pulled furniture out of the courtyard into the street and even flooded some parked cars. Now they're focused on cleanup efforts for a hopeful reopening tomorrow. When employees of the popular eatery, the rail yard, clocked in this morning, the focus was on preparing for the lunch shift. But co-owner Linda Newborn says she knew something was wrong the minute the skies opened up. It really started to rain hard. Within a matter of minutes, their outdoor courtyard was flooded, with some parts sitting under four feet of water. The water doesn't have anywhere to go, and so it just, it just gathers right here under the bridge. It comes into the rail yard and it just got really high really fast. The flash flooding was so powerful that wooden benches float out into the street, forcing the closure of the restaurant only one hour after opening. These are heavy pieces of furniture and they were floating. Newburn says this freak weather occurrence isn't new. It's happened a number of times. She blames outdated drains for the flooding and worries about similar events happening in the future. These drains just can't handle it, and the more building that goes on here, we have, you know, a coffee shop, we've got a new condos coming up, you know, it's not going to get any better. For now, they're focused on mopping up and drying out in preparation for the lunch shift tomorrow. We've already cleaning up. We've got power washers coming tomorrow. We hope it'll be just spick and span and sanitized and ready to roll. Now, the concern is with additional rains. If we do see some forecasted showers happening tonight or tomorrow, that could further delay the rail yards opening until everything gets cleaned up. We'll have to see. Reporting in Little Rock, Katrin Asaf, back to you.